What's up? I'm Austin Griffith. I want to show you EmojiCoin.exchange. It was a shitcoin trading platform that I made for fun in about 15 minutes uh, as a test to see if we can do more with the burner than just send and receive. This is like an onboarding study. So I built a simple game that lets people trade these emoji coins. They can just buy, buy, buy. They can sell, sell, sell. Uh, each one of those is an interaction with a smart contract. To get this, uh, you just go to emojicoin.exchange. The game is over, but uh, let me go through it and kind of tell you some of my results. So uh, I went to a class here in Fort Collins, and there were about 50 students, and I handed out these paper wallets. Uh, they are just the usual paper wallets I use for everything else. There's a private key, some explanation of what you do with it, and uh, you basically go to emojicoin.exchange, you scan that private key, and you have uh, $5 with, of this emoji coin, and you can use that emoji coin to buy in and out of positions of emojis, and they fluctuate based on just like the block hash. It's very exploitable, but that wasn't the point. It was to make a quick little game to see if people would play it and how they would engage. I gave everybody five bucks of emoji coin and told them they could immediately off ramp that with the exchange if they wanted to, or they could continue to investment, vest it and uh, make more money. And the bank had a total of like $300 in it. So there was some financial incentive to play along. So I handed out the wallet at about uh, 1140. Here, there's me, a uh, local creeper teaching the dark art of blockchain onboarding. Uh, I handed out 50 paper wallets, and it was it was amazing. Uh, almost instantly, 80% uh, of the room was just on board playing the game. No wallet download, no seed phrase, none of that. They just go to a website and they start playing a game. Uh, they knew they were ta they knew they were talking to a blockchain when they were hitting those buttons, but technically, no one needs to know that, right? It's abstracted away. You're just playing the game, but it is actually backed by this simple smart contract here. Uh, the key is, look at this graph right here. I handed out the wallets about right there, and then it's just like 40, 30, 20, 100 transactions. Uh, it's, it just started ramping. It, it averaged about 1,000 transactions per hour of thumb traffic. And I'm calling it thumb traffic because uh, after about 10 p.m., they started figuring out that they could run it with scripts and they started automating it and kind of running arbitrage between the emojis, which was super smart. And uh, yeah, so that the, the two people that figured out they could script it ended up uh, each taking home a hundred bucks. Good job to you guys. And then kind of it just goes down the tail of who else won money. Uh, oh, also props to my dude Patrick. So uh, one of the students said the first thing they did was grab the ABI from my website and plug it into one click DAP. So props for those sweet, uh, you know, developer onboarding tools. Here, here are all the transactions throughout the 24 hour period where the game was active. It took them about 24 hours. I think, I think they could have pulled the money out sooner, but I, th I maybe they were just enjoying playing the game. That's the, that's the fun part about all this. It's a game. It's fun right? Sweet. So total numbers, 22,000 transactions within that 24 hours. Now, a, a good chunk of that was automated, of course. But if I pull out the accounts that look like they were using scripts, it still looked like about 6,000 transactions made by hand by the students, you know, 40 students over, over that 24 hour period. So the conclusion here is, oh, dang, we could probably build more into the burner wallet than just sending and receiving. What if we had other things, not just games, right? What if we had prediction markets? What if we had uh, Gnosis Safe? You know, there's, there's a lot of other extensions we can add to the burner. And I wanted to test where it would go into the code base, how it would work, would people get onboarded, how... And it did, it worked. 80% of the people, boom, they were in. So if you're thinking about having a burner event, it's not just about buying and selling at food trucks. There's a lot of cool stuff you can do with this. If you're running a prediction market on XDAI, I've already talked to Helena, so that's a good example, but we could easily integrate that into the burner. Like, let's, let's, let's first put it into the code and figure out how to get it to work, but eventually let's make this thing modular and make it, uh, you know, scale so you don't have to look at my awful burner code. Uh, yeah, okay, last thing. I think it's the last thing. Let me just scan through here real quick. Last thing is the Ethereal Virtual Hackathon. So now that we've 
proven that we can build a quick little game that's engaging, that people can play without a bunch of hoops to jump through. Let's let's do it again, and let's do it for the Ethereal Virtual Hackathon that's coming up, uh, sponsored by Gitcoin and Microsoft. So we have the next two weeks, starting April 15th, to build something. So I was thinking I could rally developers in the community around, let's build another simple little game like this that allows people to just drop into a website and boop, 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 start playing a game. So I don't know, we, we were talking about maybe it could be like a, like a quiz game or a, a voting game. You know, maybe we, maybe we can play with governance, uh, something, something where uh, people can get in and have a few simple buttons to play a game, nothing too advanced. It, the smart contract should should literally take 15 minutes to write, and if it takes any longer, it's too complicated. So let's build some super simple game. Uh, there's a link here to a Gitcoin uh, issue. I don't know what it is. It's it's something in Git. I think it's an issue. It's an issue. It is definitely an issue. This issue 96 in the Gitcoin Skunk Works is build a burner game with Austin for the virtual hackathon. So come join me, pitch some ideas, pitch pitch a little smart contract code, let's figure out what the back end will look like, and then let's, uh, you know, I'll try to be kind of hands off and let you build what we can, but, and by you I mean a lot of people, I hope. Let's all work on this together. All right, happy Friday, happy Bowtie Friday, check out emojicoin.exchange, we can do some cool stuff with the burner, uh, onboarding is getting to be pretty exciting for me, there's a lot of really cool pieces of tech in the space that don't have the users they deserve, and we want to change that, happy Bowtie Friday!